Hello my dear pharmacy friends welcome to our youtube channel pharma job bullet so in this video we are going to learn about some important regulatory interview questions for freshers so if you are one of them uh, want to join the regulatory affairs domain as a career so this video will definitely help you and before that if you are visiting our channel for the very first time don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell icon and this is Naveen M Farm and today we are going to know the some of the important regulatory efforts freshers interview questions so let's start so coming to the first question what is orange book so does every anyone know if you know before you watch the next step uh, let me know in the comment section so this is a book which is published by us fda approved drug products with therapeutic equivalence otherwise it is called as so this book contains uh, therapeutic evaluations so drug products which are approved on the basics of safety and effectiveness by food drug administration so orange book is a reference for all the uh, public so you can also refer the orange book for the industry persons doctors everyone as well as the general public so you may be asked a question like this tell me about the ctd modules my dear friends there are five ctd modules which so ctd means common technical documents through which submissions are done regulatory submissions so these include five modules module one which contain administrative information which is region specific and module two to five are common for everyone and module two contains summaries module three quality and the module four non-clinical study reports and the module five clinical study reports so the next question what summaries are present in module two can you please outline when you ask when you're being a question like this you need to uh, just outline them that uh, these will be there in the summaries quality overall summary and uh, clinical summary non clinical overview and clinical overview these are the things which are present in module 2 and first of all answer quality overall summary and clinical summary that's enough and coming to the next question name the regulations which resulted in the growth of the generic drug industry so the generic drug industry has faced many challenges but with the regulations from the amendments like hatch waxman act and Kefauver Harris Drug Amendment, these regulations facilitated the growth of generic drug industry. So, next question you may be asked as a fresher uh, What are the goals of a regulatory affairs professional? Uh, you may be asked directly, like, What are your goals as a regulatory affairs professional? Then you can answer like this So, to protect the human health, ensuring the safety, efficacy, and the quality of the drugs and ensuring appropriateness and accuracy of the product information so these are the main goals of a, any regulatory affairs professional so safety of the public or the consumer and what is an investigational new drug application so you may already know about this but i am mentioning here because these will be definitely asked so basics are very important so it is an application which is filed with the fda to get approval for legally testing and experimental drug on human subjects so this is uh, name itself suggest investigational new drug so for carrying out the investigation you are taking approval from the fda for testing the drug on human subjects in the us coming to the next question what is a generic drug product so most of you might have confusion about this the difference between generic and the innovator product so a generic drug product is one which is compatible I mean comparable to the innovator drug product in doses form whatever the doses form or uh, tablets capsules or strength 50 mg or 100 mg like that route of administration oral or uh, any route quality performance and intended use so a generic drug is similar to the innovator drug in terms of this doses form strength route of administration the quality also so remember quality also so generic drug is not a substandard product so it is is a drug product which is comparable to the innovator and which is available at a very low cost after the innovator patent expires the generic drugs will enter the market so coming to the next question what is an abbreviated new drug application so abbreviated new drug application it is an application which is filed with the fda for a us generic drug approval for an existing licensed medication or approved drug in simple words it is an application for the approval of generic drugs so ANDA is the application which is used to get the approval for ma marketing of generic drug products so by any company so ANDA most of the drugs in the market are generics only that you must notice most of the drugs are generics so what is the difference between DMF and ASMF with respect to submission 
so there isn't any differentiation of dmfs into part so that is that you need to say asmf is submitted as applicants part and restricted part closed part no differentiation and guys if you are watching our content for the very first time don't forget to click the subscribe button so it motivates us to do more videos like this for you so next question is what are the procedures for the approval of drugs in eu so guys these are the procedures that you might have already read, uh, learned about these things in your m farm regulatory affairs if you are an m farm pharmaceutical specialization or if you are a regulatory affairs uh, domain uh, i mean in the m farm specialization then definitely you will be knowing about this these include centralized procedure decentralized procedure manual recognition procedure and a national procedure so coming to the next question what are the ich guidelines to be referred for the preparation of registration dossiers or application of medicines so you need to refer to m4 ich m4 guideline m4 q guideline m4 s these are multidisciplinary guidelines m4 means ctd so likewise m4q m4s m4e guidelines so what is cep so which is a certificate which is issued by the certification of substances division of the european directorate for the quality of medicine when the manufacturer of a substance provides proof that the quality of the substance is suitably controlled by the monographs of the european pharmacopoeia so these are the some of the important regulatory affairs interview questions for freshers my dear friends so already i have made a video regarding these in the playlist you can also check the previous questions so there may be some different questions out there so you can prepare both the videos watch them and also if you have any material or the regarding the regulatory affairs lot of data is available on the internet so you can prepare accordingly so thank you for watching my dear friends so for videos like this you need uh, you can subscribe to our channel and if you really like our work don't forget to click the uh, like button and share it with your friends thank you my dear friends